All right, Shalom. This is Harawan Ban Yasha Allah of the Lions Den Camp. I want to say, Kaal Halayim, La Yahawa, Pahashim Yahushai, Pahashim Harakakwadash, Mama. Double honor to the elder apostles of GMS and the elders. Shalom to you, Akim, Nakwatim, and children that believe in sincerity and truth around the four corners of the earth. Amen. <clears throat> this is going to be a, um, you know, commentary dealing with this uh, little Nas, a little nasty ex. <laughs> Um, demon that performed, I think it was the BET Awards. Now, it's funny because a brother of mine posted a, um, a, um, something on uh, social media dealing with uh, uh, Kwame Brown when he was speaking about this debacle, you know, uh, this abomination that this, this guy, uh, this Jake, was performing at the BET Awards. I was thinking the same thing. And, um, you know, that is not owned by our people anymore. It's owned by Esau. All right. It, it was sold. They sold it a few years back <clears throat> to a bunch of Edomites. But then you have um, also people like Madonna have come out and spoken. <laughs> yeah, I know. And you know how ex explicit. And, uh, you know, I'm watching my words because YouTube, you know, but. You know how explicit she was. You know she would do a lot on stage, but she wouldn't do that. You wouldn't even. You don't even see that with um, a man and a woman on stage. You know they they be getting naked and all that, which is wicked as well. But that shows you, um, you know, the 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 mindset that Jake has gone to, man. And the reason I got this in the background, this was him on stage. I'm not going to show the picture. Uh, it might pop up. I don't know, but I'm gonna skip through this just a little bit. But I, I couldn't see it, man. Uh, he went up there and kissed the, uh, a man that, that was doing all these uh, kissing on stage and shit. <clears throat> all right, and he was saying uh, that's how he feel. But hey, man, he said he got a demon in the background, and that's why I paused it right here. Cause I'm like, yo, look at this shit, man. It's not even about, uh, you know, um that pride shit right now because yeah the lord gonna destroy them for that but they got rights already man we can't even say that shit on say certain words on youtube you can't even go out in the streets and say certain words about them without getting hassled by the police or whatever so they got certain rights already here in a in place called babylon or, or sodom and sodom again all over again egypt so they got rights so what is he really trying to fight for what are you doing? They're trying to push this uh, wicked agenda, all right, of the uh, the, uh, the shadow government, or you would call the elites or Illuminati. That's who he with. He pushing that agenda. You heard them say it. They say, "Yo, this is the time for a great reset." That great C reset is a code word for new world order, and their new world order also is pushing not only um one world religion which they want to push their satanic order that's what they want to push and that's what they're doing they're using it through the media through the music all right all the agentures of the devil that's what they said <clears throat> and they, they're trying to push that right before uh world war three and this is all prophetic that the lord said this was going to happen uh, all for a judgment upon this place called babylon all right but you have Jake, man. Look at this shit, man. I, I can't do it. You know, I can't even go through too many pictures. But you see that it was an eye in the background. They got the whole Egyptology. Hey, there you go, polite. That's your, your, your Sarnetta. See what it does? That's what that That's what that philosophy does to our people, you know? I think that's a Michael Jackson video. Ah, shit. But there. All right. <clears throat> Because all this is signs of the end of this society, man. It's the end of this, this man's kingdom. All right, Esau's kingdom, man. And two-thirds of our people have, have reached the pinnacle or are reaching the pinnacle of wickedness, man, on every level. All right? Um, but yeah, you wouldn't even... You don't, you don't see them pushing man and woman like that, you know? Um at the BET Awards, 
standing up there just kissing all over each other. Jay-Z and Beyonce, I don't know if I want to see that, but I'm just saying. <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, but they putting that shit up there. They allow that in front of children that's watching. You know what I mean? A lot of children watching that, and that's what they're aiming for. Check this out. And it is what it is, man. Um, it said the Third World War, or Albert Pike's Third Three World War Letter, 1871. The Third World War, and Albert Pike was a uh, th third degree, 33rd degree Mason, all right, who was hired to foment a, um, or come up with a, a plan to promote the Illuminati's or the shadow government's um, great reset. All right, that's what they were aiming for. All right, the whole plan. And they came up with a few plans, but this is the one they went with. <clears throat> it says the Third World War must be fomented by taking advantage of the differences caused by the agentur, that means agents of the Illuminati. Because the political Zionists and the leaders of Islamic world that's happening over there in the Middle East and the war, or what they call the Middle East, the war must be conducted in such a way that, that Islam and political Zionism mutually destroy each other. And that's what you see with Palestine and Israel, Iran and Israel, Saudi Arabia, so on and so on. All right. Meanwhile, the other nations, once more divided, on this issue will be constrained to fight to the point of complete physical, moral, spiritual, and economical exhaustion. That's what America's doing. All right. <clears throat> and then check this out. We shall unleash the nihilists and the atheists. That's what they've been doing all over the world, man. You know, they've been unleashing them. And that's what they said during that Great Reset interview. It's like yeah, uh, they all gotta. They all have a part to play, and this is the, this is this demon, little little nasty ex. This dude, his um, his part to play is that. That's what they pushing. All right. Um, it says it's called darkness, man. It's basically, darkness spreading. You know, as the light is shining as well upon the elect and through the elect. From Yahweh Bashim Al Shai, you have darkness spreading around the world. Let me get a scripture real quick before I read on. This is 2 Timothy 3 and 13. But evil men and seducers shall wax worse and worse, deceiving and being deceived. All right. So they're deceiving, all right, deceiving the people. And the word deceiver goes back to the word Diablos. All right. So they're moving in the spirit of their father, the devil. That's their authority right now. That's who they that's who they're rolling with. That's who they're promoting. All right. Um, and the devil is Esau and they're pushing their agenda and their idols, their idolatry. All right. It says, but evil men and seducers show wax worse and worse, deceiving and being deceived, man. And that's what this is this is right here, man. They're deceiving people. But but to the elect, it says what? But continue thou in the things which thou hast learned and has been assured of, knowing of whom thou hast learned them. All right. All right. So I'm going to continue reading. It says, we shall unleash the nihilists and the atheists, man, that don't believe in the Lord. All right. They don't believe in the Most High or Yahweh, you know, Yahweh, Yahweh Okay. They don't believe in the God of Abraham, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. It says, and we shall provoke, provoke, a formidable social cataclysm, which in all its horror will show clearly to the nations the effect of absolute atheism. See, that's what they're doing. This is a this is a social cataclysm. It's a horror film that we watching, man. All right. As the wicked wax worse and worse. Um which in all its horror will show clearly to the nations the effect of absolute atheism, origin of savagery, and of the most bloody turmoil. So that's what all this is going to lead to, man. It's showing you where we're at right now in this world. These are people that's on this damn earth. All right. Check this out, though. This is what 
BET comes to play a part in. They're promoting this. They're promoting that um, they had a couple of women kissing on each other at the same uh, event. You know, you can't say certain words, but you get my point. And they had, uh, um, you know, people pushing drug dealing and all that, man, and the worship in the money. <clears throat> and devil worship. People got all these tattoos all over their face and crosses and all this shit and, and uh, calling themselves demons now. When they rapping, they used to do that in Philadelphia, calling themselves demons. All right. Drinking blood. All right. Hey, man. It says, then everywhere the citizens, see, obliged to defend themselves against the world minority of revolutionaries. So anybody that's standing up against all this bullshit will exterminate those destroyers of civilization and the multitude disillusioned with Christianity. So all the people in the churches, you already know what they're going to do. They're going to find out that they're already worshiping the devil anyway. You know, because they're not, they're not teaching the scriptures correctly in the churches, man. Dealing with Caesar Borgia, you know, that false image. And that false doctrine. That's why a lot of this uh, savagery, <laughs> uh, uh, zestyism, man, those, these spicy, spicy niggas, man, getting up there doing this abomination in front of the world, reaching their pinnacle. Hey, man. Uh, I'm going to continue reading. It says, uh, the, the multitude disillusioned with Christianity, whose de deistic spirits, all right, because that's where a lot of it, that's my point. That's where a lot of this was, was birthed at in these churches. Y'all remember the tambourine players? Playing the tambourine, you know? He's like, hey, that, 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 that bro? Up there doing that? What the hell he doing in here? Why are you playing the piano like that? Why are you singing like that? Why are you moving like that? Yeah, they did ones. Y'all know the ones. Same ones, man. But anyway, it says who whose deistic spirits will from that moment be without compass or direction. See that all this chaos that's going on in the world. Now they pushing their idols out, out in front of everybody for them to see, for them to make another choice. You see that? They're going to make a choice. They're going to choose that. They're going to see, hey, success. All the successful ones on TV, they all worship the devil. You see that? But the earth has been given into the hands of the wicked. All right? And that's what they're going to do. They're going to offer the things that Esau has stolen, the whole damn world. Offer you riches. Offer these Jake. Uh, crumbs, you know, crumbs from the table. That's what they're gonna offer Jake, and to, for them to exploit themselves and and embarrass their damn self, and embarrass their nation. Get up there doing that mess in front of the world. All right, they do that as a slap in the face to the Most High, but the Lord got a judgment coming for they they ass man. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> but I'm gonna read a little bit more of this. Check this out. This is their plan. It says, then everywhere the citizens obliged to defend themselves against the world minority of revolutionaries will exterminate those destroyers of civilization and the multitude disillusioned with Christianity. All right, they're going to start pulling away from it. Whose deistic spirits will from that moment be without compass or direction. They're going to be bugging out out here, man. They ain't going to know what the hell going on, whether they should do this or that, or not that, you know. Is this wrong? Is that wrong? They're going to say, hey, don't judge nobody. Let everybody be. See, Diddy, P. Diddy, or whatever he call himself now, love. He's like, uh, he telling boy to be fearless. And he see this nigga jumping off the damn cliff and shit. He know what he about to do. Next thing you know, you're going to see him coming out the closet. All right. First go from the cliff, jumping to, to jumping out the damn closet. All right. It says, uh, but without knowing, where to render its adoration so they ain't going to know what the hell to do. And that goes with uh, Romans 10. You know, my uh, our people have... Uh, let me just get it real quick. Well, it says, what, a zeal of the Most High, but not according to knowledge. 
All right, Romans 10. But check this out. It says this. Um, but without knowing where to render its adoration, then they will receive what they call the light, which is the scriptures say how dark, how great is that darkness, man. Their light is darkness, man. That's what they're doing. It's, it's increasing. All right. And the Lord going to put it out by shining the light. We all know light put it. The true light, which is Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, is going to put out darkness. All right. So through the universal manifestation of the pure doctrine of whatever, you know, you see right there, uh, brought finally out in the public view. So they're going to bring that devil worship out in the public view. That's what they're doing. All right. Manifestation of the pure doctrine of the devil brought finally out in the public view. You can't miss these points. This manifestation will result from the general reactionary movement which will follow the destruction of Christianity and atheism, both conquered and exterminated at the same time. What did they do with that pandemic? They, they sh shut down the churches, man. And now they're shutting down the belief or whatever. You know, that's, that's between them, but you get my point. This is, um, this is Psalms 12 and 8. The wicked walk on every side when the vilest men are exalted. Now, who did they just put in office? What did they do when, when Obama was in office? They turned the White House rainbow. They gave him rights that we couldn't even say certain words on the streets when we were teaching. And now, and then on YouTube, now look who they got. It don't matter who they put in the office, but I'm saying, you know my point. I'm saying their agenda. All right. And now, um, look at BET, who, who's running it. It's called Black Entertainment Television, but it's not black at all. All right. And we're not black anyway. And we're Israelites. So that's that. I look at that as I don't let my children see that. We don't even play that on our TV. I look at it as void entertainment television. Because that's what black means, to be void. All right? So that's darkness entertainment television. Telling you that vision, you know? The wicked walk on every side when the vilest men are exalted, man. Esau being exalted. Right, for their last, that's what Lucifer means, man, to fall. Or um, a, a light bearer, all right? But but they're the Nephilim now, the fallen ones. They're going to fall. You know? But that's what they're really worshiping. Jake really worshiping Esau, man. Isaiah 3 and 9. The show of their countenance do have witness against them, man. So it's the judgment coming. And the Lord is saying, hey, that witness is, is going to be against them. All right? What they're doing. Uh, wearing women's clothes and stuff, man. All right? And, and uh, kiss. Uh, you already know, man. And they declare their sin as Sodom. They declaring it. You know? Declaring it out in the open in the public. They hide it not. Woe unto their soul. So their soul going to feel that destruction. Their soul is in torment. The Lord going to, they, they do pray all kind of demons plaguing them, man. And the diseases and shit like that going on. All right, but, it's, you know. So woe unto their soul. For they have rewarded evil unto themselves, man. So that's the reward they're going to get. What the fuck reward you think? Excuse my language. What reward you think you're gonna get by going up there doing that? We did it. Yeah, be fearless. Be fearless of what? Woe unto their soul, for they have rewarded evil unto themselves. So that's the reward he's gonna get. That's your BET reward. All right, there you go. That's your BET black evil. Uh, entertainment damn award right there. All right. This is Second Peter's 2 and uh, 6. And turning the cities of Sodom and Gomorrah 
and to ashes, condemned them with an overthrow, making them an, an example unto those that after it should live ungodly. So it it don't matter where you at in the world, if you're living in that mindset, that was an example of the ones that that's living in that way. What they call the pride movement. You know what I mean? It is what it is. So the so Sodom and Gomorrah was an example. Left in ashes as an example of those that live ungodly, man. But the Lord delivered just Lot, vexed with the filthy conversation of the wicked and basically all the actions of the wicked man not just their conversation but their actions all right it's filthy that's what we see in filthiness man and, and lot was vexed with it just like the, we are all right all right here go some pictures that they they found man they found sodom and gomorrah and it was left as an example look at that M molted rock like lava and ashes, all right? Look at that. Esau found it. So it's still left there as an example. Okay. Amazing new discoveries. Example <laughs> example of judgment to come. All right, I was looking at this one right here. Look at that, man. So, all right. Brim, brimstone. See that? Brimstone. And this was this supposedly Lot's wife right here. All right. They found that. Which is made up of salt. It's like a different type of uh you know, material than um this rock. They said it's made up of salt and brimstone. All right, look at that. So it was left as, as an example. Okay. <laughs> yeah, see? Just like the Roman Empire, man. The Roman Empire, you see them pictures that they got up and all these uh, naked statues and shit, man. So, you know. All right. And this is a cut on them damn atheists. Psalms 53 and 1. The fool have said in his heart, there is no God. Corrupt are they and have done abominable iniquity. There is none that doeth good. All right. So, hey, man. So the Lord which says, what? Yahweh looketh down from heaven upon the children of men to see if there were any that did understand that did seek Yahweh. And the elect are seeking Yahweh. By Hashem Yahweh Shah and seeking righteousness. All right? And these, these wicked ass jakes is uh, chasing foolishness. All right? But only a fool would say that there is no God. All right? Because the Lord has left examples of what's to come. If, if, one that live ungodly and the judgment has not happened yet we still in this flesh we still in the Babylon Yahweh Shah didn't return yet so we still have not reached that second judgment yet of fire he said it there's not going to be a judgment of water it's going to be a judgment with fire now that's the second death you know and you know it hasn't happened yet so there's a judgment to come and these people are not fearful of that Isaiah 31 13 and uh Eight, so they want to be kissing be, and be all face to face. Okay. Isaiah 13 and um, 7. 13 and 6. How ye, for that day of Jehovah is at hand. It shall come as a destruction from the Almighty. Same way it, it happened upon Sodom and Gomorrah. All right. It's going to happen upon this place, Babylon. Therefore shall all hands be faint and every man's heart shall melt. You know, their foolish hearts going to melt. And the Lord said he's going to leave them there. He's going to melt them. Isaiah 13 and all that dang on fake gold they was wearing with the serpents and shit. The Egyptology costume. The Lord going to melt all of it. Isaiah 13 and 8. And they shall be afraid. Yeah, see they act all pride for now. The pride, right? Nah, the Lord said it's, it's going to be called the fear movement. All right, they shall be afraid, pangs and sorrows shall take hold of them. They shall be in pain as a woman that travail of they won't be women. All right, there you go. The Lord gonna put you in pain as a woman that travail of a woman in pregnancy. Ah, yeah, without the depot, what we call depot shot. It's pain, 
They shall be amazed one at another. Their faces shall be as flames. There you go. Let's see if they're going to kiss them. All right. Their faces are going to be as flames. Behold, the day of Yahweh cometh as cruel, both with wrath and fierce anger, to lay the land desolate, and he shall destroy the sinners thereof out of it. All right, this is Ezekiel. Matter of fact, let me get this first. And this is all you saw at the BT Awards, all right? Um, or the Void Entertainment Awards. Um, it says this, Romans 1 and 26, For this cause, no, I'm going to read this, 25, Who changed the truth of Yahweh into a lie, and worshipped and served the creature more than the creator? Who is blessed forever among so the people they worship in idols, they worship in planets. You know, idol worship. They, they created these these uh these deities, man. And uh, you know, our people are following after them, and the Lord plaguing them with demons. Romans so now it says this for this cause Yahweh gave them up. See that? That's why the Lord gave them up to their vile affections, everything that comes with it. Gave them up unto vile affections. That's what we're seeing. For even their women did change the natural use uh, into that which is against nature. And that's what uh, I forgot the two chicks' name. They both have blonde hair. It was crazy. You already know, right? When you see blonde hair of the women on Jake, or you see red hair, hat head, hat headed women. I call them hair hats. All right, you gotta be careful, man. You gotta watch though. It's a mindset. All right. So the Lord said, what? Even them, they they uh, did change the natural use into that which is against nature. It's against nature. It's not natural. All right. It's depopulation. And likewise, also the men, you look at all the animals, the animals not doing that. Even if they try to say, yeah, the animal did that before. That's because it was just bugged the hell out. All right. And likewise, also the men, Leaving the natural use of the woman. So they don't want to impregnate a woman or have a baby or sex with a woman. Burned in their lusts one toward another. And there's something. That's all it is, man. It's not natural. It's just a mindset that their demonic ass mind is trying to push in darkness around the damn world. Right through the television. Telling that vision to the damn children. All right, and to the people. It says, men with men working that which is unseemly and receiving in themselves that recompense of the error which was meet. So that's why scripture said, woe unto their souls, man. It's something within them they're wrestling with and they're fighting demons and they're going to perish in that same way, in torment. All right, but the Lord going to have them in their right mind in the kingdom. These niggas. All right. Um, so, even as they did not like to retain Yahweh in their knowledge, Yahweh gave them over to a reprobate mind to do those things which are not convenient. All right. Being filled with all unrighteousness. See, see? fornication. See, this is why they do it. They, and people like Sinatra be like, why would your God allow this? No, the Lord allowing them. He created everything good and evil so he can show you that this is wicked these people are wicked and these people are righteous i'm gonna set up an order you know first fruits gonna be righteous and then bring in the rest of the tree behind them they're gonna put out wickedness from the world from the earth you know being born from this in this flesh is naturally wicked it's, it's opposite it can't be righteous Righteousness is something from the heavens. So this, this, uh, this flesh comes from the from the dirt, from the ground. So it's dead, you know. So if the Lord doesn't wake us up, we're spiritually dead, and this that's what He's showing His power, man. All right, turn some away. He created some as silver, and some for dross. Some vessels to honor, and some to dishonor. Okay, so Romans um, 1 and 28, 
And even as they did not like to retain Yahweh in their knowledge, Yahweh gave them over to a reprobate mind to do those things which are not convenient, being filled with all, see their mind is being filled up with all unrighteousness. So the wicked of our people, they're watching that and they're going to be like, be fearless, just like P. Diddy, right? So they're being filled, their cup is being filled up with fornication, with, with idolatry, adultery, um, feminism, unrighteousness, wickedness, co covetousness, maliciousness, full of envy, murder, debate, deceit, malignity, whisperers, backbiters, haters of haters of God, man, despiteful, proud, boasters. That's what they say, pride, right? The pride movement, right? Proud, man, boasters, inventors of evil things, disobedient to parents. Without understanding, covenant breakers, without natural affection, uh, uh, implacable and unmerciful, all right? Who knowing the judgment of Yahweh, they know about the, uh, the God of the Bible, man. God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob and the judgment that he's going to bring. Who knowing the judgment of Yahweh, that they which commit such things are worthy of death. Not only do the same, but have pleasure in them that do them. So the ones that are doing it and the ones that have pleasure in watching them do it, they both going to be destroyed, man. Ezekiel 22 and 19. Therefore, thus say if Yahweh with power, I right, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and Yahweh shy, because ye are all become dross. So it's like the scum. All right. Because ye have all become dross. Behold, therefore, I will gather you in the midst of Jerusalem. So the Lord is gathering the wicked on the left, and he's gathering the righteous on the right, right, in the spirit. As they gather silver and brass and iron and t lead and tin, all right, and these are all um, alloys outside of uh, silver, into the midst of the furnace, whew, right, right in America, man. To blow the fire upon it, to melt it. So will I gather you in mine anger and in my fury, and I will leave you there and melt you. 